Do you know what day it is? Do you know what day it is? It is November 12th, the 19th anniversary of the very first UFC event. Happy birthday, UFC! Thank you to everybody who ever contributed to a UFC event going right back to that very first one. And especially to Hoist Gracie, honored guest of this very show. Without you guys, I wouldn't be standing here being obnoxious in your face right now. You guys started the juggernaut rolling that got built into the world spanning promotion that we see today. You guys rock. Happy 19th. And now it is the 12th episode of the Punch in the Face video blog. I'm going to start off with the worst and move to the best because I got several topics to talk about today. The first one being Bellator. Bellator, Bellator, Bellator. Why do you insist on shooting yourself in the penis at every opportunity? Recent announcements have Bellator casting for their new reality show. And in other recent announcements, Bellator is getting into that new Macarena dance that all the kids are excited about. The Ultimate Fighter reality show has already proven by setting recent records for low ratings. The reality show theme is played out. It's over. It's done. It's past its shelf life. So of course now, Bjorn Rebney, CEO of Bellator, decides to jump on the bandwagon. Just finding another way to fail. I'm not even going to go on about this. I've already ranted about Bellator. Just please try to find a way to stop sucking, alright Bjorn? I mean this guy suffers from that all too common blend of ignorance and arrogance that befalls most MMA promoters, causing him to think that just because he can afford to buy an airplane, he knows how to fly it. Let's move on to something more pleasant. The recent debut of the World Series of Fighting just happened last week, helmed by K1 superstar Ray the Black Panther, or he's had like 18 nicknames, but anyway, Ray Cepho. I watched it, it wasn't bad. Production was good, fights were good, few mismatches, but good. Commentary team of Boss Root and Todd Harris, excellent. However, they're already hemorrhaging money and they have not done anything to distinguish themselves as anything but UFC light. They're making the same mistake a lot of promotions have made before them. You have to find something to make yourself unique, production-wise, in the way you market your fighters, something. If you just present the same product as UFC, all the fans are going to go to UFC. They're not going to come to you. Guys, I know it's just your first show, but find something to make yourself different and do it soon because I want to see some viable competition for the big guys. And now to the topic I've been dying to get to. Congratulations, Rowdy Ronda Rousey, first ever female UFC fighter. And congratulations to Misha Takedown Tate, Rowdy Ronda's arch nemesis, for being the second UFC fighter in the female division. And also, I want to commend UFC President Dana White. This is a guy who not too long ago was saying, I don't like watching women punch each other in the face. I don't want to see that. There's not enough depth in the women's division to support the women's division, which is bull crap. There's so much talent in women's MMA. It's unbelievable. But he has recanted everything, done an abrupt 180. Now he is going to allow women into the hallowed gates of the octagon. And I am so extremely happy about that. I can't even describe it. And while I'm on the subject of women's MMA, we got to throw a show out, shout out to Jeff. Osborne of Indiana. Longest running MMA promoter in North America. His hook and shoot promotion is the second longest running group in North America and he is the guy who started the whole ball rolling for the female fighters. This dude in 2002 ran hook and shoot revolution at great personal expense and against rigid opposition to get women started. The first all women show in North American history and he's been pushing the sport forward ever since. So if you like Rowdy Ronda, if you like Gina Carano, if you like watching women fight and if you are a woman fighter, we all owe a debt of gratitude. Thank you, Jeff Osborne. And that is it for this edition of the Mollus Punch in the Face video blog. As always, thank you Fusion Bodybuilding. Thank you Roots of Fight who made this kick-ass shirt right here. Thank you Files News and thank you for watching. Until next time, Paul the Mullah Lazenby wishing you happiness, health, and a punch in the face! <laughs>